Hi there, my name is Marcel Nott and I live close to Toronto in Ontario, Canada. And I want to share with you a few stories, what God has been doing in my life and in other people's lives. A couple years ago, I was really seeking the life of the book of Acts. I've always been a Christian, I've been in church, but I did not see that life, what they saw in the book of Acts. And so I was searching and then I came across the TLR teaching and I learned so much. I got baptized five years ago, filled with the Holy Spirit, and trained and equipped by other people. And then I started living this life. Wherever I go, I started seeing God doing miracles. I saw sick people getting healed, people delivered. I saw people getting baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit. It was a beautiful journey. I saw God do mighty things. But also, my heart was about discipleship. And last year, when the pandemic, when it hit, uh, we didn't know what to do. But uh, with some like-minded friends and family, we started to form a team, a few guys, and we started to go out and share this good news of Jesus Christ uh, to many people, many homes. And, um, and through that, we've seen like this uh, ministry expand. We saw many people come to know Jesus and got discipled. And so this year, we really had a, a hunger to go and bring the good news farther up north in Ontario and in Canada. And so we bought some RVs and we call it the family on a mission. We were with the different families coming together. And so we hit the road and we were on the road for a couple of weeks and we saw God do mighty things. And today I want to share with you some of those stories, what God has done on our trip as we went up north as we went through Ontario, we drove over 3000 kilometers. And like I said, we saw so many miracles, signs and wonders, people getting baptized, set free, filled with the Holy Spirit. And with our team, I want to encourage you some stories, but also how God can use you on a mission with your family, with your friends. If God can use you for the kingdom right now, the kingdom of Christ on earth right now through you. So today you will hear some stories of what God has done on this mission and how God's gospel has been preached throughout North Ontario in those cities. God bless. Um, so we were rock jumping uh, at uh, Kill Bear um, and jumping off rocks and then I felt to swim to the beach instead of climb back up and jump again. So I swam to the beach and, uh, and then once I got up out of the water, I was standing there and I just heard neck pain. So um, instead of continuing to listen, I just turned around to the people behind me and I was like, you guys have neck pain? And they said, no, we don't. Um, so I had a friendly chat with them and then I thought, okay, I'm going to continue to listen. And I don't know how this works, but I, I saw a vision and I heard Brody go, don't stop, Greg. And so I was like, okay, I'm not going to stop. So with neck pain, I'm looking around the beach. Who is it, Lord? Who is it? And way down on the other end is the guy just sitting there with his family in the water. And uh, I really felt he was highlighted. So I went up to him. I said, and pretty confidently, I really felt in my spirit he was the guy. So I said, hey, you have neck pain? He goes, yeah. He goes, really bad right here. I'm starting physio next week. And uh, so I said, can I pray for it to go? We're actually part of a healing team. And he said, sure. And so I prayed for it and the pain went and that opened the door to share the gospel. And he even had like, you know, teary eyed, not crying, but you, uh, we could see he was touched. And then our local contact, Renee, uh, happened to join at that moment and shared his testimony. And we got that, uh, that gentleman's, his name's Carlos, his uh, phone number and we're planning to keep in touch. So. He didn't want to, he was like, oh, this is so much, I need to process. He didn't want to repent to be baptized on the spot, but but he, he was touched and uh, we look forward to keeping in contact. Yeah, so awesome story. So we were in Barrie at Centennial Park. Uh, a friend who was hosting us that day had uh, arranged to be able to use a, a covered pavilion, uh, not far off the beach. So we had uh, a, a, a gentleman doing worship on guitar, playing music there. And we were out uh, sharing the gospel around the pavilion uh, in the park uh, by the beach. And uh, it was kind of a God thing as all of a sudden uh, it kind of got overcast and it started to rain. So all of a sudden all these people that were out unprotected were moving to the, uh, to the covered pavilion to seek shelter from the rain. So <laughs> we turned up the music, uh, the worship music a little bit louder and we were singing and worshiping and people were just you know watching and us do that and then uh, Brody uh, began to share uh, with them uh, his testimony and then share the uh, bit of the gospel message with him and another brother shared his testimony and I, as soon as we started to uh, to do the worship um, 
there's a gentleman that kind of walked by and he kind of looked back at, at the pavilion like three times and like the third time I was just like I was felt led by the spirit to go talk to him so I walked over and I I spoke with him and had a conversation with him and uh, shared my testimony with him and uh, yeah and he told me that he had some experience with uh, uh, religion and felt that he had been filled with the Holy Spirit but I tried to question and talk more with him and explain the the gospel more fully with him and talked about repentance and 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 the true meaning of baptism and uh, and as the conversation went along I asked my friend Jeff to come and join me and uh, yes yeah, so we shared the full full gospel to him and I explained about baptism to him and asked him if he wanted to get baptized and he said yeah I want this I want this um, and so uh, we ended up that uh, we took him into the beach and we baptized him in the water and he uh, he said he had spoken in tongues but we we felt like that they weren't there wasn't really the Holy Spirit so they were actually uh, demonic tongues that he was speaking so we did deliverance over him and it was a battle for a while we we prayed with him after we baptized him in the water then we brought him out of the water and we sat down on a on a picnic table and uh, we prayed uh, deliverance over him for a little while and then all of a sudden uh, the tongues that he was was using changed and they became more softer and it was completely different and all of a sudden he kept on talking and speaking in tongues for a while and then he started to actually uh, it became a harmony and he was singing in tongues and it was so beautiful yeah so he got completely uh, set free and yeah it was speaking and singing in tongues and uh, yeah, we've arranged for our friend uh, Doris, who was hosting us, to keep in touch with him, to disciple with him. And uh, we've been exchanging messages for the last day. So, yeah, so it was just an awesome story. Well, hey, guys. <clears throat> it's Peter and Jing. And, uh, yeah, we just want to share our experiences with going up north. So we're near Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And uh, we drove about seven hours north and then another three hours north there. So probably ten hours total north. <clears throat> and uh, we got to see um, lots of people get delivered, get healed. One highlight for me was the first time I've seen like really young kids. Uh, at least where I got the opportunity to pray for really young kids, uh, like five-year-olds, seven-year-olds. And uh, <clears throat> they got uh, the one girl got her eyesight healed. Um, she had really thick glasses and uh, her eyesight got healed when we prayed for her. Uh, almost perfectly. And then... Um, we uh yeah prayed for a little boy he broke his arm in two places he got healed and a little boy i think he was four years old with really uh anger issues and with just with a with a short prayer his whole demeanor changed it was really amazing but yeah we got to see um a lot of uh great deliverance and healing and baptisms and even more so, uh, we had the opportunity again to go up north, and that was now uh, my whole family and another, I think, three whole families with their kids, uh, and another fourth family with one of their children, and a couple others. So it was a whole group, and we took our RVs up to Manitoulin Island, <clears throat> which is an island up north, and uh, we got to uh, share and experience along with some brothers and sisters in the uh, First Nations um, uh, First Nations area on the island. And that was really amazing. So um, it was awesome to go with our kids. We had uh, an RV trailer with all our kids, and then we could even have another whole family in a trailer with us. So we had our family, and then we had the family in Christ together. <laughs> in our trailer so it's been really awesome and we're praying for more trips like this and uh it's really awesome to to have everyone together on the same mission and the same heart yeah it's awesome how about you how's it been for you yeah it's been really good because uh <laughs> we have three kids so my job is to stay home mom so i really don't get to like you know go out a lot or like share but yeah, uh, this trip is really, really cool. Like, you know, you see like how brothers and sisters working together and as one and helping each other. And, and I got to like even, you know, go through repentance with a lot of like women and um, yeah, we got to baptize people. Even like myself, I, I was able to 
like go on the street and kickstart people and and you know like I see like brother and sister like uh, different we all have like different gifts and this trip was really really seeing like you know we use our gift all together like you know some uh, like probably I'll, I'll discern more and and then some has more like teaching gift and and some like you just it's beautiful to see how like everybody using like all, all like you know gifts and then God put us all together and really experience like body of Christ and how how like you know God put us all together so which is amazing and yeah this is really really amazing that we can do this together yeah hello guys my name is Brody and I just want to share a testimony with you because God is really moving in Canada we went out family on mission and traveled across the province of Ontario and we saw God move in such a mighty way and not only on this mission, we've just been seeing a move mighty in general. It's been so incredible in the last couple of years. We were out doing evangelism in a little city in Ontario. And I went to this restaurant and I was sharing my story of addiction with the owner. And this other gentleman walked up and he said, hey, what are you guys doing? And he, he got really interested in our conversation. And I asked him to come have a seat with us. And as we sat down, we shared the gospel with him. And he knew a bit about God and the gospel. And, and he said, you know, I just, I, I want to be free from my addiction. And I don't understand. I keep, I keep trying to get out of it. And it's like, it's like, I just can't break free. And when we explained the gospel and about repentance and sin, things just started clicking. And he said, you know, this, this really makes sense. He's like, the enemy is trying to kill me. He wants to keep me in bondage. And, and uh, that's it, guys. I, I need to repent of my sin so I can be free. And he was just missing that one part, that part of repentance. He knew about God. He knew about certain things. But he said he's never repented. So as we shared, he said, I want to repent right now. And we got so excited. So we led him through repentance. And we continued to talk with him for 10 or 15 minutes and he decided right on the spot to get baptized. So we left, we called some of the other team members and uh, in that hour uh, of that encounter with him, we baptized him and he experienced such freedom, he said, after his baptism. And th that is just so exciting. And these stories we're hearing are happening daily across Canada now. And we just wanna encourage you that you can step out and you can do this too. You can share your testimony and you can share the gospel and you can see God move in your life. My name is uh, Harmon uh, from uh, Ontario, Canada. And uh, yeah, our trip, uh, we went on a, a two week, two, 17 day trip uh, through Northern Ontario. And uh, it was interesting that, uh, you know, I planned to go on this trip and uh, the last week before I was going, I'm, I'm a contractor and, uh, you know, have a, a crew of four guys that work with me. And, uh, I've, you know, I've never left work for that long before. And, uh, the week coming up to the trip, uh, after months of planning, I was, you know, doubting whether or not I should go and, uh, you know, questioning that. And, uh, then, uh, pushed through that. I knew that was uh, a lie from the enemy and um, I, I pushed through and, and left and it was it was great how even my work stuff all fell through a day before I left whereas I had real comfort in knowing my crew could completely handle everything while I was gone and um, then it was verified to me like I, I questioned myself what why am I going along on this trip these these other fellows are, you know, full-time in mission. I'm just sort of going along with, with this other crew and, uh, um, how do I fit in? And, uh, the first stop we made the, the we left on a Friday, the, the Saturday is the first day we started mission. Um, and, um, yeah, ended up, uh, we ended up baptizing two people on the beach. Uh, we went out and just, uh, worshiped, uh, worshiped on the beach and, uh, I got to help uh, do a baptism with someone, and, and then I felt right. Okay, I, I, I'm supposed to be on this trip, and and it was amazing that uh, normally when I go away for a week from hol on holidays from work, 
I right away, the last couple days going back to work, I feel like I'm thinking about work again. And this, this whole trip, I just, work was the last thing on my mind. And uh, it was complete, uh, you know, with this crew that we had of 10 or 12 people um, in three RVs, and uh, traveling around Ontario, the unity that we saw within our trip, within our uh, group, uh, was just God given, uh, totally, and uh, the diversity of our group, and uh, all the different uh, strengths that we uh, we had, and um, yeah, it was just amazing to see God working in the different places that we went, uh, the different stories, you know, uh, that we heard from the people that we went to bless, and then we were also blessed by them. And uh, yeah, it was uh, it was it was neat to see some of the believers in these places that we had contacts in that sort of invited us to their towns. Um, we were expecting to go out on the street and bless a lot of people. Well, the people that invited us there, a very northern. Uh, communities they did not have a lot of fellowship and even just connect reconnecting with these people and and reigniting a fire in them to say yes this is what i've been missing the evangelism the going out on the street the healing uh praying with people uh things that we have learned in the group that we have in uh southern ontario here we have a really good network of uh, within we all live within about an hour and a half of each other, and we get together regularly. Uh, there's different groups that go out on the street weekly, and um, we took what we've learned over the last few years doing this in our own communities and going up north uh, to these different communities that God called us to and just connecting with other fellow believers and just to hear the stories that they're reconnecting. So, hey, everybody. Hey, I just want to say hi to everybody, and uh, God bless you all. Thank you for listening to our stories, and uh, God is doing mighty things, and uh, we just want to encourage you as a family on the mission. Uh, this is also for you. God can use you mightily on a journey with your community. Thank you for everything, and God bless you.